ever pondered over the origins of the world of accounting? Did you know the modern accounting was first codified in a math book? It's a tale that unfolds over centuries, deeply intertwined with the evolution of mathematics and commerce. Accounting, as we know it today, has its roots in ancient civilizations like Mesopotamia, Egypt and Rome, where the need to record and track transactions first emerged. The story takes an interesting turn with the Islamic civilization, where scholars advanced mathematical concepts and introduced innovative bookkeeping methods. They refined numerical systems and developed algebra, providing a more sophisticated framework for tracking financial transactions. This greatly influenced trade and commerce across the Mediterranean and beyond. Fast forward to the Renaissance, and we meet Luca Pacioli, who formally codified these practices. Pacioli, an Italian mathematician and Franciscan priest, introduced the world to a systematic approach to tracking assets, liabilities, and owner's equity in his seminal work in 1494. Summa de Arithmetica, Geometria, Proportioni et Proportionalita. This was the birth of double-entry bookkeeping, utilizing the principles of arithmetic and algebra to maintain balance within ledgers. This balance is the essence of the accounting equation. Assets equal sign liabilities plus equity. This equation is the cornerstone of accounting reflecting a company's financial health. On one side you have assets, everything a company owns. On the other, liabilities or financial obligations. In the middle, equity, the residual interest of the company's owners. The equation remains balanced after every transaction, serving as a financial checks and balances system. But this equation can be extended further. In addition to assets, liabilities and equity, we can include revenues and expenses. This comprehensive equation reflects the flow of transactions and their impact on a company's financial position and performance. Revenues increase equity while expenses reduce it. The balance between revenues and expenses ultimately impacts the company's net income, a crucial indicator of its financial performance. So from ancient civilizations to the present day, the journey of accounting has been a fascinating one. Its evolution, deeply rooted in mathematics and commerce, has shaped and continues to shape the financial world. The next time you look at the financial statements, remember the centuries of development and refinement that have gone into that simple yet powerful equation. As we close this chapter on the mathematical origins of accounting, we hope you've gained a new appreciation for the subject. If you've enjoyed this journey through time and numbers, we encourage you to interact with us. So go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, leave your thoughts in the comments and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on more videos from our channel. And let's continue this journey of learning together.